Hey y'all, listen, I've got a new camera, new mic, new lights, new me, new hair, okay? I am here, I'm in this thing for real, okay? <laughs> oh my God. If you're new, which you just might be because we grow every day over here on Indie Bindi, here on my channel, I offer hair tutorials, braiding tutorials, because you know, I am a braider, um, DIYs, I'm gonna start getting more into beauty and basically everything that I know in my head I want to be able to share with you guys. Hopefully it helps everyone out. Maybe you learn a tip or trick here and there and you can really apply it in your life. But the bottom line is whether it's hair, beauty, DIY, literally anything, you feel your best when you look good. <laughs> So here on my channel, I'm here to share with you tips, tricks, and tutorials to do just that, make you feel good. Because when you feel good, you look good, vice versa, okay? Because you are a baddie. I don't even know what you look like, but I know you're bad. And you better own that shit. Okay, so I'm gonna give you guys the rundown of everything that I did to prepare this look on me. And I'm gonna show you guys step by step of how I do it. Now, by no means am I claiming that I am a professional at this because I am definitely not <laughs> self-taught. But you know, the more you do things, the better you get at it. Practice doesn't make perfect, but it does make you better, a whole lot better than what you were before. So practice, practice, practice. So this is gonna be a rundown of literally everything you need to know from the bleaching, to the plucking, to the lace tinting, to the glue, to the hot comb, to the band, to the baby hair. I'm gonna give it to you all. So you know what that means. Take notes, okay? Take some notes. Um, if you disagree with anything that I'm saying, I am sorry. Refer back to a few seconds ago when I said that I'm not a professional. But I'm here to give it to you guys because I love you guys so much, you know? I'm wearing a green top, okay? Today's video is sponsored by Nadula Hair and they were so, so, so kind to send me this auburn red brown unit. Wear this unit at any time of the year, any season, any day, because I look bomb. And you can look bomb too. <laughs> what was I gonna say? Without, <laughs> Just hair in my mouth. Without further ado, let's get into this video. Okay, let's unbox this thing. So upon opening the box, I have the wig. She's looking gorgeous with this nice red, brown, auburn color. And the lace isn't exactly a match for my skin tone quite yet, but we're gonna tint the lace, bleach the knots, do all that good stuff. Y'all, please don't say nothing about my nails. If you do, I will cry. They've also sent me two types of wig caps, a regular wig cap and their updated wig cap. Now, the updated one is a lot more transparent. It's thinner so that your actual skin color can show through versus the regular cap, which is like totally off. They also sent me some goodies, a bonnet, a makeup brush, some lashes, the little band to tie your wig down, and a headband, and a silk bag for my wig to store it. All right, here's a nerve wracking part, bleaching the knots. So you're gonna wanna go to your local beauty supply or Walmart or Target, don't spill it like me, and you're gonna wanna get powder bleach and also some liquid developer. Now, this part might be a little scary, but don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through it. I'm gonna be using 40 volume developer. Now you kinda don't wanna go any higher because the higher the number, the faster it'll bleach. So I'm gonna use a two to one ratio you want to have more powder than you do liquid because the consistency that you're going for is kind of like toothpaste you don't oh that's a lot you don't want to put too much liquid so that it's too liquidy because it will start seeping through the lace and onto the hair which is not the goal you really just want it to get through the lace just enough to bleach the base of the knots <laughs> hence bleaching the knots so i'm also putting a little piece of foil down just because I wanted to. <laughs> so you can see the knots are a little dark here. So first we're gonna spray the wig with some water and some got to be spray just so that we can get the hair out of the way of the lace. So 
So now I'm flipping my unit inside out because we want to bleach the inside part of the lace. And I'm also going to place a little towel underneath just so that I'm making sure that the bleach is not going through the unit and onto the other side of the hair. I also put a little T-pin just so that it can lay flat. Okay, I'm using like a spatula kind of thing. Oh, girl, don't forget the gloves, which I did. Don't though. And I'm using my spatula to kind of press the concoction into the lace a little bit you don't want to press too hard please do not press too hard because it will start to seep through you kind of want to just lightly tap it on there but make sure you're applying it to all the parts that kind of need it you know the hairline the middle the parts that are actually visible so you're gonna wait about 15 minutes and check it periodically every five just to make sure and this is what it's gonna look like and you're gonna take it to your sink. Now I'm using Shimmer Lights Purple Shampoo and Conditioner and this is basically to just get rid of that orangish tinge that's sometimes left behind when you bleach or dye hair. And a lot of people use this when they have blonde hair to kind of get rid of that orangish yellowish tinge. And so I'm just using that in my sink. So we're back and I've put her on my canvas head and secured her with one T-pin because that's literally all I had, just one T-pin. And I'm combing her through just to make sure she has no tangles and that she's straight. And as you can see, the knots are not as dark as they used to be, which was the goal. Now we're gonna pluck, pluck, pluck her. So you're gonna need the tip of a comb and you're gonna separate one layer in the front of the hairline and we're gonna start plucking behind that layer. So I'm gonna take a clip and just clip that down. Now, if you're new to this, which is completely fine, like hello, welcome, plucking is basically just thinning out the hairline so that it looks a little more natural so that it's just not like forehead lace, a bunch of hair. So that it kind of gives it like a gradient into the actual hair so I'm using these tweezers from TJ Maxx so random you can use any pair of tweezers just make sure that the base is flat so that you're not creating holes in the lace now do not pluck in the same spot okay girl listen hear me out that is what creates bald spots and girl you cannot take those bald spots back once they're there they're there so pluck with purpose but no for real just make sure you're constantly moving around so that you're not plucking in the same area over and over and over again and you'll know that you're doing it properly if hair is actually coming out of the unit which means that you're actually thinning out thinning it out now you can repeat the same steps a few times just until you feel like it's thinned out enough I also take note of my actual hair pattern in the front of my head um, I know that kind of like the sides of my head are a little bit thinner than the rest so I try to recreate that on the unit just so that it matches up really naturally on my head. So you can definitely see the difference from the right side to the left side. All right, she's bleached, she's plucked, and now we're going to tint the lace and prep the wig for the install. So I'm flipping her inside out and using the one T-pin I have and sticking it in the canvas head. And I'm gonna use this Eben Tinted Lace Spray in the color Light Warm Brown, and I'm just gonna spray it all over the front.
I'm also taking this Maybelline Fit Me Powder in the shade 330 and I'm applying it all over the front. And I probably could have used a cream foundation instead, which would probably have a better color, but this is all I got, so this is what we're gonna use, okay? I lied. I found some um, contour and highlighting cream from Anastasia Beverly Hills and I'm just going to mix those two brown colors that are most similar to my skin tone and that's what I'm using on top of everything. <laughs> and I'm using my Got To Be Spray on top and spraying it all over it just so that the makeup can actually stay in place. After blow drying, I'm using this heat protectant and I'm just gonna apply it all over and get you a hot comb. If you do not have a hot comb, please just go buy one right now. This one will be linked below, but I got it from the beauty supply store, order one from Amazon, but it is literally the key to a flat install. Like there's literally no other answer. Like get you a hot comb because it will lay them hairs. Also, this flat iron is absolute garbage. Like don't even buy it <laughs> i got it from tj maxx and i thought it was gonna be a hit girl no it was barely doing anything so i'm not even gonna recommend this to you guys i'm gonna be straight up don't buy this <laughs> flat iron but i used it anyways all right i'm using their super transparent wig cap and i'm just placing that on my head and I'm spraying with got to be spray to attach it to my head and brushing my little hairs back. And then I'm just gonna place it right on my skin. I probably should have used some alcohol and wiped off where I'm going to apply it, but I sure did not. But if you're watching this, do that step. Now I'm using my blow dryer on a cool setting to go ahead and dry the spray that I just sprayed. I'm also going to apply a little bit of this lace glue that I'm going to be using to just make sure that it's really stuck down on my head. The lace glue that I'm using is the Almighty Bond Kiss Lace Glue with the dual tip applicator. And honestly, this lace glue was really good because when I was trying to get it off, it was not coming off. It's supposedly waterproof and supposed to hold your unit down really good. Um, just next time, probably for me, I'd probably avoid using lace glue because I'd be wanting to take my wig off at night. <laughs> now I'm going to use an eyebrow razor after my cap has dried down and I'm just going to trim off the edge of the cap. I'm also going to apply a little bit of some powder along my hairline. I'm using the Fit Me Maybelline powder in the shade 330, which I'm going to show you a little bit later, but that's what I'm using to apply to my hairline. All right, we're getting to the install. So I'm going to be placing the wig on my head, but the first time I placed it, it was a bit too big and loosey-goosey. So I took it off again and I just adjusted the adjustable straps in the back to make it the right size for my head. So I went over it and cross them over each other and I'm just gonna put it back on. And now you can see it's a lot more secure and snug to my head. If you see me looking down, it's because the mirror is down there and I did not realize that I was kind of off the camera, but I'm peeling back that lace and I'm applying my Kiss Lace Glue in two little dots, one on my forehead and one like right on the cap. And I don't know why I did this. I saw someone else do it and I was like, oh, must be important. <laughs> and I did it like that. And now I'm just kind of like rubbing them together. Now I apply like about three layers of glue making sure that the layer before is like mostly dry 
And when I'm by dry, I mean like kind of tacky. It'll get like kind of clear when it's all the way tacky. Here is where I had a self-learning moment. I definitely should have waited for those few dots to dry before I pulled this thing down on my forehead because as you can see, the dots are very visible because they're still white because they were not dry because I was impatient and I was rushing. So wait to make sure that your glue's dry before you pull it down or you'll end up like me, but it's fine because you know we're resilient over here. So I kind of just like scratched out the glue with my nail a little bit and just used my comb to try to get the glue out of the hair. And it is what it is, you keep it pushing. Now I'm gonna cut her down the middle with some scissors and this is just gonna make it easier for me to use the eyebrow razor because I'm doing it in two sections. And I'm gonna pull up one side and just place the other. Now I'm using my eyebrow razor and it doesn't have to be a perfect line, which is why I'm not using the scissors. Kinda want it a little bit jagged and really like precise. Um, so that it kind of mimics like a little hairline or whatever. <laughs> And I'm also cutting the ear tab out from around my ear. Now I'm pulling out a few baby hairs. This is something that I definitely have to work on getting better at, but you know, like I said in the beginning, the more you practice, the better you get. So I just pulled out a few just for now because I didn't want to go too crazy with the baby hairs or anything. Kind of was going for more of a natural kind of look. So that's what I did, just pulled out a few. Now I'm gonna be using my elastic band that ever so conveniently came with the box. This is such a cute pattern. I'm like literally in love with cheetah print right now for some reason, like I really don't know why, but it was just speaking to me. So I'm using my elastic band and I'm placing it over the hairline with my baby hairs coming down at the bottom. And I kind of just leave it on for, I don't know, 10, 15, however long you feel like it. You know, I left it on for an unknown amount of time. <laughs> And I'm just gonna go ahead and use my hot comb once again to just make sure that everything is like flat and laid down and That's that. All right. We're almost there guys I'm using my curling wand that I also got from TJ Maxx. No, they're not sponsoring this video But please sponsor me like would that be possible because I live in TJ Maxx. But anyways, this is like a gem It's spelled like G-E-M curling wand and I'm curling my hair in the direction away from my face and I'm kind of going for like a beachy, like bombshell kind of curl kind of thing. So I'm not making it like too curly. Thank you. 
now 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 i'm taking off my elastic band and that thing in my nose is my nose ring it's not a booger please don't come for me it is my nose piercing and as you can see my lace is pretty pretty there i would i would say it's melted a little bit but you know honestly in my opinion wigs will always look like wigs they be looking like hair but to me it looks like a wig so why not just own it yep so i also cut my baby hairs a little bit with my eyebrow razor and i'm just gonna go in with a little bit of got to be gel and an edge brush slash comb up oh, before that i am using a mini curling iron to curl my baby hairs i'm curling them inward so that they can swoop in the direction you know going downward then i'm using the gel and the edge brush to swoop my little baby hairs Now I'm taking a little bit of that contour palette that I showed you guys earlier by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm taking that lighter color and like a flat brush and just putting it a little bit in the middle part so that it kind of highlights it and stands out and doesn't look too much like lace, more like my skin. y'all y'all you all this looks so cute so guys that is the end of this video if you've watched all the way through thank you so much for sticking around and i really appreciate you all every time i open my phone my computer my ipad and i see the amount of support love and just positivity on my page i literally cry like i tear up like i am just touched because you guys are just so positive and encouraging and even encouraging to each other in the comments like it's just so crazy and i can't wait to see like how much we grow and how we can share tips with each other y'all like my new camera look at it look at it Ooh. Okay, that's it. Bye. Love you.